Hello friends, we are back with another robot in this video. This time we are going to create violin player as a part of robotics construction level 2. Our learning objectives from this video are practice oscillatory motion and construct violin player. Let's start with step 1. Here we are attaching two L plates to a rectangular plate. The L plates are positioned such a way that their flat surfaces are on the outside and they are connected with the rectangular plate using two nuts and bolts. Let's go to the next step. In this step we are now attaching two more L plates as legs to our assembly which we created in the first step. So these two and they are connected using two nuts and bolts. Similarly on this side also we will be connecting them two nuts and bolts. The flat surfaces of the sail plates are inside both of them. Here we are connecting one more rectangular plate to the assembly which we created in our last step and that is connected using two nuts and bolts on one side here. We are also connecting one single bar using two nuts and bolt to this rectangular plate and we are connecting a motor with motor shaft. If you see the motor shaft is coming out of this horizontal slit. So there is one two third slit from that side. Horizontal slit. And so these motor screws are connected into the vertical slit. Both of them. We have also placed one spacer onto the motor shaft to create some space. Let's go to the next step. In this step we have created a fulcrum point using 1.5 inch bolt. Fulcrum point is connected to the base tightly and on that fulcrum point we have inserted one spacer. Here we have attached the big gear and the big gear has earth point on it. So the earth point is created by another 1.5 inch bolt and nut tightly connected to the big gear and that assembly is mounted onto the motor shaft and secured at place using a shaft lock. Onto the earth point we have placed two spacers to create space. This entire we are calling as assembly A. Now we are creating one push pull rod and one pendulum rod. So can you tell me which one of them is push pull and which one is pendulum? Yes, correct. This is the push pull rod which has two holes at the end using two flat rotators and single nut bolt each. Here is the pendulum rod where the holes are close to each other. So the flat rotators are attached here one on front one behind and created two holes which are very close to each other. Now observe the direction of the nut and bolt. At the end of the pendulum rod we have also connected one L connector using one nut bolt. Let's go to next step. Now the pendulum rod and push pull rod are connected to each other using one inch bolt and nut. Now this nut is loosely connected. This is a joint so it has to be loosely connected. We will call this as assembly B. That assembly B and assembly A are now connected to each other. How? The push pull rod is inserted onto the earth point and loosely connected with a nut. The pendulum rod is mounted on to the fulcrum point and again loosely coupled with a nut. We have also connected one L connector here to the body to this horizontal rectangular plate using one nut bolt. Now it's part of cosmetic things. We have attached the head which we have made using a square plate, two nut bolts and connected it to the L connector which we had attached in our last step and one flat connector we have connected them together. We have also connected one axle into this L connector which was on the pendulum rod and we have secured it in place using two shaft locks one on this side of L connector one on the other side of L connector that acts as a stick of the violin and we have kept one more axle to act as a violin. Now when we connect the motor to the power supply the gear rotates 
making the push pull rod go front back and ensuring that the pendulum rod goes in oscillatory fashion and that will take the stick front back again and it will look like our robot is playing a violin so what did we learn from this video we practiced oscillatory motion we saw we had earth point we had push pull rod we had pendulum rod we had fulcrum point and of course we had the sun point which is our motor shaft and then we constructed the violin player in our next video we will practice one more robot which uses oscillatory motion till then bye bye